I love the way the First Gen Lounge makes me feel. Because it creates a space where I belong, where we're able to create community. The fact that it's a community. It's a safe place. It also gives me a place to understand different perspectives. The stories of these individuals prescribe transformational perspective. I receive encouragement, enlightenment, empowerment. And also serve as a catalyst to just keep going. Where we're able to be our true selves. I'm allowed to be an unapologetic first gen. And above all else, tell our story. And every episode is unique. I love it. I'm your host, Dr. Eve, and I'd like to welcome you to the First Gen Lounge. What's good, fam? I want to welcome you back to yet another week of the First Gen Lounge. And if you are new here, what up? Welcome. So glad you decided to drop in this week. So, you know, we are in the third quarter of the year. We are in the second six months and you know me by now. Like, where did the time go? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> um, seems like everything is has happening so fast and, you know, I think we can both agree that it has been one hell of a year, but to say the least, I absolutely believe that our mindset is everything and it's just important for us to continue to have a positive mindset in spite of all of the challenging things that is happening around us you know so that we continue to see the good in life and that we continue to express gratitude um each and every day so you know if you sitting there running whatever you're doing right now and you're just like yo yeah it's been a crazy year um, just to remember to like just to remain grateful and to remain hopeful um, for our world and everybody in it. So uh, speaking of everybody, I have really been thinking a lot lately about relationships, you know, with friends and with family and with oneself. And I was just thinking like we haven't had a conversation yet about doing what's best for other people. Like, I really believe in helping to empower you and to give you some, you know, some thoughts about how you show up in the world and who you are showing up in the world. I was like, I don't really think that we've talked about how to show up for other people. And so I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time today to really just chat for a moment about doing what's best for them and them being the other folks in your life, right? Because when we think about it, one of the things that really matters the most over having a ton of money, big old houses, nice cars, education, all of it, is being able to have wonderful relationships with people. And it is definitely my my thought that relationships are the fiber of life. And you're like, you know, well, what do you mean that relationships are the fiber of life? Like, it's having amazing people in our life with whom we can share our experiences, good or bad, that really make all the difference. And so just as we have the expectation to have people in our life who can be supportive of us and what we do and how we live and so forth. I think it's really important that we are also the ones who are showing up for the people in our lives um, and not in the way that we think we need to show up, but in the way that they need for us to show up. So let me give you a quick example. A few years ago, and I don't know why I've just really been thinking about this particular part, but a few years ago, I had a you know really good friend, somebody who I actually considered a sister of mine, to decide that she wanted to go through a divorce or she wanted to get a divorce. And I remember thinking for a minute, like she didn't lost her damn mind. She better not do that. Uh, but then you know, saying that now, it's kind of like, why would you even think that way? Like, who are you to think that she shouldn't do something that she says she want to do? But for real, when she had mentioned it. I mean, as a friend, as a good friend, as somebody, again, who believes myself to be, you know, a sister. I mean, we are sisters because, trust me, that's the homie. <laughs> so many things that she knows about me. But anyway, it was being in a space where sometimes when people in our lives express things that they want, you know, things that they want to do, things that they need, 
we have the tendency to look at what we would do first and then we want to offer our advice or you know give them our thoughts about what we would do uh, without thinking about what do they need right now and how can I show up for them in the space that they're in so yeah so she's talking about getting this divorce and it shocked me for one you know because I'm just like come on like if you don't make it how I'm supposed to make it and although I already know that my relationship is my own truth be told is you know you look sometimes to like your friends for like that inspiration and encouragement and it was always encouraging to have another married friend because we of our friends actually got married um earlier earlier than some of our other friends did and so even with that it's like dang you know and you're the kind of person who fights and you're the kind of person that makes it so if you don't make it what this mean for me so just questions in my head right just questions in my head they ain't had nothing to do with me at all but it's one of those things like kind of like somebody you know having a business and that's that person who you look to and you be like yeah you know i really love this love this person's out there doing it at that out there getting it and then that business fails you know it tanks they go bankrupt and you like dang so what is you know what's gonna happen to me so not like i'm the only person who's ever had that thought or anything about a situation okay don't do me don't do me today but um <laughs> to that point though i remember rather than thinking about her first i had kind of thought about me and myself and what i needed based on what she was telling me but i need you to make it sis i need you to fight because you know you're supposed to be a fight out here you're supposed to be doing this and that and that but then you know it took me growing and maturing coming she still got the divorce and i fully supported her you know as best as i could through her entire process and beyond and listen homegirl bounce back game is the truth listen the whole truth and nothing but the truth okay she did that and i am so proud of her and how she's grown and even continued to mature but made a very hard choice but the choice that was for her that was necessary for what she needed um and then not just that to have done so with children um and to have really you know felt like she tried and did everything that she could um that made sense in her relationship and here's the thing about even relationships of all kinds be it it's with you know a parent a a sibling um a friend or somebody you know with whom you're just being intimate with you know intimate as like maybe you're dating or boyfriend and girlfriend whatever but it's doing what's best for you within that relationship okay um and thinking about what you need and making the decisions that are good for you but also acknowledging that it's more than you in the relationship right so even with that here's what i'm i'm getting at to be in a good relationship and like i was saying earlier is to show up for people in a way that they need you to show up for them so even at the time when i really heard what, what she was saying it really dawned on me like yo again who are you to think that you know what's best for her who are you to say that your idea about what she needs to be doing is actually better Cause you ever get in those situations sometimes when you may be talking to somebody about something and you automatically think because it's what you do again, that it's what they should be doing because it's the best thing to do. What is best for them? So take the time to really listen to the people in your life about what they're saying that they need, even when they're not saying it directly. Because at that time, what my friend was saying to me was, I'm hurting. This is not working out. I have tried my best. I have done everything that I can do. I am tired. And her being tired and her being frustrated and over it and having put in that work, it was no time for me to come in with my, well, marriage is forever and you're supposed to fight. And, you know, have y'all done this? Have y'all done that? Rather than it was a more ideal time to be like, you know, I hear you and I affirm you. And I'm here to support you. And I want you, you know, to tell me what you want to do next and how can I best support you through this? Because sometimes even supporting your friends is just listening to what they have to say. It's just hearing them out. It's just being a listening ear without offering any opinion about something or suggesting what they should be doing instead. So if you are that kind of person as well, you may not even notice that it's that it's you that's doing that. And it doesn't hurt to have the conversation with your friends or again, whomever you're in a relationship with and say, am I supporting you in the way that you need to be supported? Um, Because that's something I actually ask myself and ask my friends from time to time. 
is there any way that I can support you differently or better? Because while I recognize we have a great relationship, I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to be supportive of you. And I'll be for real, it was that particular situation that really made me think differently about not only doing what's best for me, but doing what's best for them and them being the people in my life. And what I have learned is if you can't show up for the people in your life in the way that they need you to show up, then maybe it's not a time to show up. And that's not saying that it's time for you to fall back on your, um, you know, on your role of being a friend or being that supportive person, right? But maybe it's just a time for you to take a more passive role in being there. So for example, it may not be a time to offer your advice or your opinion about what they're going through, but it may be a time to listen, to learn, and to absorb what's happening and when they call answer the phone when they want to go to lunch or do anything you know with you as an activity or something to be able to do that thing but I think the true essence of being a friend and this is what I've learned from my friends and I know I'm really kind of talking about more about friendship right but again it applies to any relationship the true essence of that relationship is being able to show up for each other and in ways that are unselfish so going back to what i mentioned about my friend who was you know going through the divorce who got through the divorce and everything else she taught me how powerful it was um that sometimes our own unconscious biases about things can show up in a way that we are sometimes telling people to stay in relationships or to stay in situations stay in work situations to you know stay in places that they're clearly telling us they don't want to be but because of hope, because of, well, you know, us not being in their situation, you know, making it better means to tell them what to do alternatively that you, that you would do. But that's not even it. Because I was like, oh, girl, you need to stay, you know, and just work it out and do it for the kids, you know, because y'all are definitely building something. And marriage ain't easy. And then you realize, like, uh-uh. So the question should have been, again, so what are you trying to move? <laughs> what are you trying to do? You know, how can I support you? What kind of money do you need Um, doing those things? Because how quickly do sometimes our friends tell us, because y'all watching Secure this season? You watching Secure? Wasn't it good? Oh my goodness. Yes, it was my Lord. Listen, it was really good. Um, But even to that point, thinking about, I'll say if we took that relationship dynamic, right? Thinking about how we evolve and sometimes over the years we get so caught up in seeing our perspective of how our relationship is supposed to be and how we're supposed to treat the person that we don't consider if they are getting what they need from us. And I think that, you know, mutual relationships of any kind that we feed into each other, we pour into each other and we are there to support each other, even if we don't agree. Hello. Did I just say that? That I, I did. You're not always going to agree with the people in your life, with the things that they do, but being somebody who is truly committed to the relationship that you're in it's not about agreeing it's about being supportive being understanding being patient and again showing up and if you can't show up again sit it out (laughs) sit it out meaning you know what is showing up then showing up means i'm here and i'm fully here no matter what you doing but i'm you say you want to go bungee jumping and I ain't trying to bungee jump for real because I ain't trying to like jump off this cliff and even feel like I'm about to kill myself. But I tell you what I do. I'm going to go to the course with you. I'm going to go. I'm going to get up there and I'm going to watch you. <laughs> That's being supportive versus, you know, well, I ain't really feeling this bungee jumping thing. So I'm just going to take a little step back on this one. But, you know, I get you the money for it. <laughs> so it's just there's so many ways to just show up for people and even in showing up in ways that they know that you are praising for them and then you're speaking to affirming the life that they want to live because there's a lot of pressure to walk around here you know wanting and needing people in your life um and i said needing because yeah we need human relationships we need relationships like one of the you know, higher maslow's hierarchy of needs you know is belonging love and belonging is, is definitely part of that so if you think even of that like you just can't walk through this life alone but the point of this all because i'm saying the same thing over but i really want you to hear me out today is really being able to like to check yourself and think about sometimes maybe people aren't showing up for you either in the way that you want them to because they have gotten maybe frustrated 
with how you continue to show up and only thinking that your way of thinking and being and living is right. That your way of seeing things is right. Because it can be exhausting um, for any person to want to share life with you and to not be able to be on the same page with you. Like that's, that's frustrating as hell. I know that you've been there before. I know you get that one friend, that one family member that you be like, yo, you just don't get it. You are wearing me out. But even so, um, when we think about all the relationships, it's important that we just don't go through the motions. We have to be intentional about how we show up. And that's not saying, you know, that you sit down and say every two months we need to sit down and have an intentional talk about our relationship. No, it's just checking in. How are you feeling? Is there anything I can be doing better? You know, as a friend, as a as a girlfriend, boyfriend, as a wife, as a whatever, is there anything I can be doing to show up for you, you know, more, or show up for you better? Um, but the lesson that I learned from my friend getting divorced, which is the most, one of the most powerful lessons that I've learned is that, again, it's learning how to do what's best for other people. Because even sometimes doing what's best for other people is doing what's best for yourself as well. Um, it's finding the balance in between the two, but it's also learning how to be the kind of person that you would want in your own life. Um, it's thinking about if I come to you as a friend and I'm telling you that I am being physically abused, are you going to tell me, and this is like, I mean, maybe touching a little sensitive here, but are you going to tell me, well, girl, you just going to have to, you know, it's, it's going to be over one of these days and you fight forward and, you know, just make sure that you make it work and maybe y'all can get some counseling because maybe that's what you would do or you just think that's what, you know, you want that person to stay in that relationship. So they out here winning or looking like they winning when they not. Mm-mm, you don't want that for your friends and you don't want that for your damn self. So for what it's worth, though, really considering that, At the end of the day, if your friend says they want to start a business, they want to buy a car, you may not agree, but if that's what they want to do, are you supporting them to the end? Now, I even understand that talking on the point of abusiveness um, is one of the things, and it's going to be very sensitive to tell somebody who's in an abusive relationship to get out of one. I've known somebody, I know somebody who's been in an abusive relationship, and until they can see it for themselves, they won't be ready to move forward. But how then do you support that person and not give up on them? Continue to be in their life. Continue to show up. Continue to have honest conversations with them. But not selfish conversations. Honest is, so even sometimes when y'all having conversations about things, not saying what you would do or what you think is best, but asking them how they feel about it if that's what they really want. And as crazy as that sounds, I have learned that no matter what, People are going to do what they want to do, point blank, period. But if it hurts you too much, um, you know, didn't even mean to take a wild spin. (laughs) But if it if it's too much to be a part of what's happening in those particular situations, which is totally understandable, then you've really got to think about how then can you support them in ways that um, you love them from a distance. And sometimes relationships, though, they just have to end because what that person needs and what y'all believe in how things align just doesn't work. So even are you ready to accept that that may be the truth? But yeah, so doing what's best for them. Um, talked about a lot of things today. Didn't do specific points, but I think that you got it. Why? Because you are extremely intelligent. But if I had to highlight those three things, it would be supporting the people in the way that they want to be supported, not in the way that you feel like you want to support them the way that you feel like is best for them to be supported because nobody knows what they need better than what they do. And it's a matter of two, even listening to people and hearing them out and checking in and evaluating the kind of person that you're being in the relationship um, that you have. And even deciding, you know, as a, as a, the last point, deciding if it's something that you want to continue in, in a relationship, a friendship, a siblingship. <laughs> Did I make that up? But you know, we think that we're obligated as well to things, but we're not obligated. We all have choice. And so loving people from a distance may be the option that needs to be had, but maybe that's even the best way for you to support them. And for them to even feel supported is for you to like fall back and start bringing your negativity 
or you know all of your you think you perfect thoughts to conversations now i'm not even saying that i thought that about myself that i was like oh i got all the answers or whatever but i was thinking that encouraging my friend and getting her to do what i believed i would do in a situation like that was is what was best for her when she was really telling me i've already had enough and then here's the other thing we all have different thresholds we all have different thresholds and you never know how much or how little a person can take only a person who's in a situation again no matter what that situation is only they know what that is for them so before you look at people and think that they should have fought harder or they should have done something different you ain't them and they ain't you so if they have made a decision you know we talk oh people you quit or you give up too easily who in the hell are you to say that like come on Mm -mm. people know what's best for them and you have to trust that your friends your family members whoever your spouse knows what's best for them and do what you can to show up and again i'm gonna say it again if you can't show up take a few steps back because you may end up doing more damage than you do good so i am so glad we had this conversation today it's a starting point um as we just again think about showing up for people in our lives because it is so important that we do that um, for them as we expect them to do for us um because now that's why i act like this ain't a a two-way thing here again give and take but i encourage you to consider or encourage you to continue to think about um, loving the people in your life, being patient with the people in your life, being supportive of the people in your life, um, good habits or bad habits, like, you know, figuring out the best way to show up for them and do that because we all have our ups and we all have our downs, but the truth is that we need each other. And when we show up for each other, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I think about all the things in my life that make me feel extremely successful And one of those things is having some of the most amazing friends and family in the world and how they show up for me, um, wanting to make sure that I show up for them because at the end of the day, a life well lived is one where you have all the memories, right? And all, all the joy, but you have people in your life who love you and love you undeniably and love you for you and support you for who you are. And so not just only having those people, right, but being one of those people for somebody else, too, or for somebody else's, for everybody else's in your life. (laughs) All right. Well, again, thank you for being here this week. I surely appreciate you. Hug yourself for me. And more than anything, continue to press forward. Continue to press forward. All right. I love you. Peace.